Hello everybody, today is March 21st, 2024. The first day of spring has officially passed and I'm gonna bring you for a fun day here at Disney's Magic Kingdom. So let's go. It is a stunningly gorgeous spring day here. And we've got the Magic Kingdom train station up ahead. There's been a very interesting phenomenon these past couple of days. You know how the spring break crowds have been absolutely doing their thing? It seems like there's a lull. There is a break because the crowds have been very, very light. So I'm hoping we get that kind of day at Magic Kingdom. It looks like it already. And the spring Mickey flower design is out in front of the train station. It looks so pretty. And that's how you know spring has sprung. It's against the rules for me to enter Magic Kingdom and Festival of Fantasy Parade not be happening. So I don't make the rules, I just follow them. It's happening. Recently, Festival of Fantasy Parade celebrated 10 years. The Festival of Fantasy just ended. So we're gonna walk down the middle of Main Street USA, but first we're gonna stop at the confectionery because there's something new to see. There's a brand new spring popcorn flavor here at the Main Street confectionery. So let's give it a go. There's a whole candied popcorn section here in the back of the confectionery. And they have all sorts of special flavors. They have the strawberry flavor that I tried pretty recently in a video. It's delicious, I highly recommend it. Let's try the new spring flavor. The spring popcorn bucket is a limited time offering. It's caramel popcorn with M&M's milk chocolate candies, crushed vanilla cookies, mini marshmallows, and white and yellow chocolatey drizzle. amazing like this is extremely light crowds for magic kingdom very pleasantly surprised <laughs> the hub grass here around magic kingdom is the perfect spot for a little picnic bring an iced coffee bring some snacks you get a view of the castle it's lovely um what? <laughs> I sat down to uh, try to eat my popcorn and this happened. Excuse me, sir. Oh, what? Well, you know, I can't. I can't. No. Off you go, cutie. Okay, I'm gonna move spots because I feel bad. I can't give him any popcorn. He's literally quacking at me. All right, let's see. There's no sh <laughs> He just flew away. There's no shade right now, so into the sun and here it is the spring popcorn bucket now this is huge as you can see but they assured me that this would last through the day like i'm going to keep it in a bag and that the chocolate and caramel that they drizzle on top is meant to harden so this is made to last i'm going to take it home and we may be eating this for a couple days if it doesn't get stale tasting but you know i've got to do a taste test now for you and for me the sun is bonkers today but oh my gosh wow there is cookies and candies and just everything in here i want to try a piece of the popcorn first popcorn's like caramel popcorn mm. oh my gosh it's so good that specialty popcorn place i love these kind of like shortbread sugar cookies they're not sugar cookies they're like shortbread cookies mm. if you like popcorn sweet popcorn caramel popcorn things like that you're gonna love this the mix of flavors is fantastic i expected this to be good like how could it not but honestly, I'm not kidding you, it's way better than I thought. It's like this explosion of sweet flavors that are also kind of softened by the marshmallow and the caramel. It's like this soft, it's so good. Make sure that you have some wipes or something 
because your fingers will get sticky. And clumsy me, I did drop a piece onto my jeans, but with some wet wipes, I was able to wipe it right up. I hear room. <gasps> the Main Street Philharmonic. Follow them. Let's see what they're gonna play for us. If you get to catch them, definitely stop and watch and like take in their set. They're just amazing. But what was funny is while they were performing, the crowds are so light today that the street was not full. We had like this amazing view and these little kids were doing like a full on tumbling performance in front of them. They were like doing flips and crazy stunts and everyone was like, ah. <laughs> All right, maybe those kids will go into some sort of Stunt performance, or I don't know, something amazing. But either way, very nice. Nice, nicely done. All right, let's party. Liberty Square. This is one of my favorite views. Love them. Disney announced that Tiana's Bayou Adventure will open this summer. We don't have a date, but we know it's this summer. And every time I come out, it's more and more complete looking. Beautiful haunted mansion across the way. Oh, wow, it's an amazing day. Recently, we were here just hanging out, not vlogging, and we saw the logs testing. But lately, I've been seeing that they're testing with water weights and everything, getting very closer to opening. So let's go over there and see what we can see. Also, look at this. Since when have you seen this light of crowds at Magic Kingdom? It's been a while. This is amazing. Also, the weather said that there was going to be a cold front in Orlando today. They said, oh, we're going to get some cold weather. Be prepared. It's not. It's so warm. So nice, I did not need a sweater today. If anything, jeans are a bit much. It's warm and nice. Oh, looky here. Okay, well, there's no water in the actual ride area, but you can see a log, a log right there. So yeah, we saw them testing one night pretty recently and obviously with an opening date of summer, that means it's gotta be sometime in the next few months See, the logs are right there. Well, let's go look at the progress over there because even from here, it looks amazing. They have created a whole bayou in there with all the trees and leaves and moss. We can hear the train, the Walt Disney World Railroad. They've also added a bunch of new signs and decor to the construction walls here. This is opening soon. Holy moly, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Tiana's Foods. They've added these new ones. Don't forget, look your bands for Mardi Gras season. That old star can only take you part of the way. You gotta help it along with some hard work of your own. Join the parade by posing in front of the umbrella or an instrument for a photo. Oh, how cool. So they have this photo op here and you can pretend you're holding the umbrella or one of the instruments. Cute! If only it was a real umbrella, it would help because it is sunny today. So if you're out here while the construction's going on, take a photo with this. Cute, very cute. Yeah, you can see all those flowers up there. It looks so fresh and green. I'm so excited to ride this and do that 50 foot drop and get splashed. There aren't a ton of water rides in Disney World. That's one of the reasons I love the new Moana attraction over at Epcot. The other day it was 
boiling hot and I walked through and got splashed and it felt so good. But here at Magic Kingdom, this was the ride, you know, and it will be the ride once again to get splashed on once it reopens. Now, only time will tell how much of a splash will happen at the bottom of that drop, but I'm hoping you get nice and nice and, you know. Are you hoping for a big splash or a little splash? Let me know because some days I know, like you don't want like a wet but you know, walking around the park. But it is so fun to get splashed, especially on those hot summer days here in Florida. Yeah, this just looks great so far from what we can see over the construction walls. And I'm so excited for it to open this summer. And speaking of Tiana, here at the Golden Oak Outpost, they're still selling the beignets. That was to be a limited time thing, but so far they're keeping it up and I hope they keep selling them. I did a video showing you how yummy they are, so I'll link it so you can check them out. Just the fact that I can get this close to, or actually this far, and get shots like this with no one in the way should give you an idea of the lovely light crowds today. And here we are, there's the log. The waters run dry though. No water, but you can tell they've been testing. I wanna take you to do something that I haven't done on a video for a while, and that is Tom Sawyer Island. Hi. It's so cool out there. And I just might make this next boat, maybe. Let's see, the music is calling me. Duh. Oh wait, I go this way? Yeah, this way. <laughs> Got on just in time. We're about to take off. Goodbye. Sure. Off we go. I hope that's what my raft looked like coming back. Cool view of Big Thunder Mountain from here too. It's a very, very quick ride. You know this isn't that deep. It can't be. But it's got to be deep enough for the riverboat. Okay. Yeah. Made it. Thank you. Woohoo! The first one. I was the last one on and the first one off. Just because of the spot I got on the raft. Now there's a bunch you can explore here. There are restrooms here, yes. If you like dark caves, mystery mines, bottomless pits. Yeah, I like all of that. Okay, let's do it. Let's go through the mystery mine. I've explored many old mines, but this is the best ever. Strange things happen in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's dark. It's very dark. I'm scared. I literally can't see a thing. Oh, it's going lower and lower. Okay, is something gonna happen? Ooh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> So the floor is all like wonkied and yeah, it's all tilted. Look, gems, water and gems. Cool. <laughs> you remember when we were driving between Vegas and California last year, it was like early last year and we went to one of those mystery houses. It's like that in here. The floor is all slanted and disorienting. You're just seeing oh, tiny bits of light. <laughs> It's very hard to see. Let me out. Let me out. Oh. Sure. Almost out. Yes. Almost out. Woo! Thank goodness. Found the exit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a little scary and disorienting for a minute there. Even though I know, you know, you're fine. You're good. You're gonna get out. But that is definitely disorienting, especially when it is so bright out that your eyes are adjusted to this bright bright, and then it is pitch black in there. But it's fun. The floor's like all slanted and. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Here's Harper's Mill. This here deserted grist mill was named after my friend, Joe Harper's old man. You can hear the birds. <laughs> Don't scare the birds. Cool. Oh, look at that. It's an owl. <laughs> cool. It's got sort of a Dollywood feel, this mill. You know, the grist mill over at Dollywood, except there's no cinnamon bread here. There should be, what is Magic Kingdom thinking? It's not cinnamon bread. Oh, beautiful, the Liberty Bell. 
are she blows have a nice ride everyone There are tables here and there used to be an eatery here, but I think it's closed. I don't think it's open anymore. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the Magic Kingdom has a train ride and a riverboat, keeping that charm. Yeah, it's closed. Aunt Polly's used to be able to get, you know, some small light quick service snacks here. No more. Very cool view of Haunted Mansion from here. Looks awesome. Now one of the attractions here on Tom Sawyer's Island, Barrel Bridge, is closed. This is a really fun bridge that moves all around when you walk on it. You see the barrels? It's meant to be like, you know, the barrels are what's holding it up. And it moves all around. You can see how it wobbles and moves. And it's really funny if you kind of like move a little bit. The person in front of you and behind you moves too. And it's a fun thing for families to play with. But it looks like it's undergoing some refurbishment. It's closed. We still have this spectacularly spooky view of Haunted Mansion. So no barrel bridge today, but there are other little bridges and walkways like this that you walk over where the floor is all uneven and there's like gravel and different sorts of uneven flooring. So, you know, look at how tilted this is. <laughs> it's like, wow, I'm tilted to the side walking on this. It's a little bit scary. There's a lot of great rock work and greenery. It's really, really pretty out here. Here's the other side of the bridge where you would actually enter. Closed. I'll come back out when it reopens to show you. But the other bridge is open, so let's do that. Here's another great view of Haunted Mansion with this shack here. Very pretty. Let's go on another bridge. Get some cool views of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad from here. Nice. Okay, bridge time. Very, very pleasant on a nice day like today. Oh, it does a little bouncy. <laughs> Not as bouncy as the barrel bridge. On the other side. <laughs> you really can't get a view like this unless you're on the river boat or over here at Tom Sawyer Island. Here, we're at Fort Langhorn over the bridge. Let's go into the fort. There's a whole thing in here. Let's see what we've got. A blacksmith. How cool is that? Neat. Chicken stew. <laughs> so there's animatronics in here for really, really cool scenes. Let's see, let's go upstairs. Let's go up the fort. You just wouldn't even know things like this were here at Magic Kingdom unless you came over here, you know? Oh, a cannon. Let's go up here. There's like another layer you can go up. Look at this. All right, let's go. There's all sorts of fun areas you can climb and play and have amazing little views. Look at this cool view. Wow. Cool. So you can go around and climb and play and there's tons of different stuff. There are restrooms in here too, which is cool. Escape tunnel. No, I don't want to go down the escape tunnel yet. Guardhouse. I hear, oh! Sir. See, if only they did like what Knott's Berry Farm does and he talked to you. But he's too busy snoozing. I can't blame you. It's a nice day for snoozing. All right, I'll just let you see. You can leave 
a variety of different ways. I'm gonna take the escape hatch though. Oh, look, you can see him from different angles. Looks so cozy and comfy. Powder room, women. There are accessible restrooms located at Rath Launch. And then you can go up on the other side over here. So let's do that. Look at these stairs. I need my sunglasses off for this so that I can see. Okay. Oh, it's nice. Nice. So nice. You could play out here for hours if you wanted to. So there are four of these rifle roost towers that you can climb up and access by bridge, but then you can climb up a little second stairwell. And there are some rifles up here and some really cool views. So that's fun and there's tons of different room to play and it's good times, good times. Rifle roost. Smells like uh, this area that seems to connect two of these is closed off. Looks like they're doing something out there. And it smells like paint, so let's just keep going. I can hear the Main Street Philharmonic again. I can't believe I'm carrying around this popcorn still. And there's another one up here. You can climb up if you want. Ah. Okay. Creak. I love the creaking floorboard sounds. Fun. Okay, time to escape through the escape tunnel. Let's go. Watch your step. Looks like another stairwell. Escaping. Oh, this is tight. Oh, this is very tight. Oh, it's a cave. It's a cave of wonders. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh my god. I almost got scared. Whoa, I did get a little scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm looking for any points of light to guide me out, please. Oh my gosh, look at how tight this is. Do not take this if you are not prepared to do like tight little squeezes. It's fine, it's totally fine. We've done real caves like this, but you know, that's a tight squeeze there. Okay, we escaped. <laughs> Escape tunnel, exit only please. You don't have to take the escape route. You can enter and exit through the same way. That's a flat level. Or you can come out through this side, which has a few steps, but it's pretty smooth also. So, there you go. And there are a lot of great photo spots where you can take a photo with Big Thunder Mountain right behind you. Yeah, nice. I've been on Tom Sawyer's Island now for about 45 minutes. Just to give you an idea how long that all took. Let's see how it moves. Whoa. Let's go up here. There's still more. There is still more. It's a very outdoorsy area, very different from the rest of Magic Kingdom where you and your family can come and really run around and play and there's all sorts of different terrain to walk on. And kids of all ages will love this, including kids at heart. Ooh. Sometimes you find this little area where you have it all to yourself for just a moment. Here's another bridge, Little Crooked Bridge. Let's do it. Fun. It's all crooked, see? Oh, this is cool. I can see all sorts of groups of people here playing and smiling and laughing and talking about how much fun they're having, so that makes me so happy. Okay, now I've been on Tom Sawyer's Island for like an hour and a half, and I think I'm gonna catch the thingy back, back across the rivers of America. I think it's time 
Oh, there's a big crowd. Maybe I'll play checkers for a bit while I wait. Big crowd getting onto the raft. Let's see if I fit. That's not a wait for the next one, but I think maybe. It's so cool here. It is still a free floating vessel. All right, that was very fun. Right on the edge here. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. We made it. Woohoo! <laughs> there was a lot of laughter out there, a lot of people playing and having a great time. I definitely recommend going out there. It is very, very warm on a day like today, but it still feels good. I mean, you're in Florida, you know it's going to be warm. That's not the right way. Just go with it, you know? We can see more of Tiana's Bayou Adventure from here. Gosh, it looks good. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> country Bear Jamboree still being worked on to be reopened later this year is the Country Bear Musical Jamboree. But you can still meet some Country Bears out in the street here. It's so hot that I needed something cold to drink. So I ordered the I Lava U Float from Sunshine Tree Terrace. It's a Dole Whip orange float. It's really delicious. I'm just waiting for my mobile order to be ready. And then I will be drinking a cold Old Dole Whip float. <sighs> Anyways. Thank you. It's already melting in just like one second, so I gotta find somewhere to go eat this. Now it's a matter of finding somewhere to eat this. Oh, before it completely melts. So this has like pop rocks in it. So it erupts like a volcano. It's really cool and it tastes amazing. Everywhere in the shade is taken up. Let's see if one of my secret spots isn't. It's in here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, all taken. My secret nooks are all taken, but hey, there's a wall here. This will do. So let me try to like even it out. Come on, come back this way. There we go. You can see it's like bubbling. Whee! Whenever you can find a shady spot with a cold food or drink to cool off and chill in Magic Kingdom, it feels like a little bit of magic. It feels nice. Instantly cooled off. It's got Dole Whip with strawberry Fanta and a passion fruit syrup and the red popping things that are, you know, like, they make it kind of pop and explode and bubble. It tastes so good, it's crunchy, it's crunchy and soft in your mouth and cool. And yeah, sitting in the shade and drinking this. Aladdin and Jasmine. <laughs>
such a fun and beautiful day here at Magic Kingdom. For some reason, the spring break crowds have parted for a brief moment. I don't know how long it will last, but if you're here right now, enjoy it, soak it up. There are so many beautiful new spring things in the parks and the resorts that I'll be bringing you, so stay tuned for all of that. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm sending you a ton of love, a ton of hot, sunny, spring, bright blue skies love. I'll see you for the next video and until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye! Oh first, let's do the gauntlet. The monorail, the boat, the tram, the trolley, all the things we have to do to get back to the ticket and transportation center. Come with me, let's go. Bye!